Hey guys, this is Destiny from Fate of Destiny. And this is my bully, Aries, and because he's kind of a little bit bored, he'll probably be walking around throughout this video. I fired one. You got three more, though. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Ladies and gents, the Smith & Wesson 686P. This beautiful uh, 686P is now filthy. Took it to the range, spent like six hours. I probably put like 50 rounds of 38 Special through it, maybe 100 of the Magnum, and it is just gross. Grime all over the cylinder. This gap here where the bullet is leaving and entering the barrel is just loaded with carbon and lead. All sorts of buildup in there. So I'm going to take some time and clean it up. If you saw that last video I did, it's gorgeous and I want to get it back to that nice shiny finish instead of all this fingerprints and carbon. Okay, where was I? My dog was chewing on a plastic bottle. Anyway, um, took care of that. I was cleaning my gun, or going to clean my gun. It's filthy, it's got carbon, lead, bunch of rounds through it. Hello Aries. And uh, now that I took away a plastic bottle he was chewing on, he's going to come chill out over here. This is what I have, what I'm going to be using. My Hops 9 here. There might be better stuff out there, but at the end of the day, my guns get clean, so. This is the oil I have, the Rem oil with the Teflon lubricant. I know there's some Rem oil haters out there. But I've got a good deal of this left, so I'm going to keep using it, probably till it's gone. This stuff I like, the Flitz, Knife and Gun Wax. So it's got, um, will not attract dust or wash off in rain. Uh, protects against fingerprints. Oh, one more thing I almost forgot. Um, I've got these little lead away patches here. They help me get the rest of that lead residue off. I'll be using those too. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna put a couple patches on, dip it in the hops. And I'm going to basically go over the, the big trouble areas where I see a lot of the, the buildup and just let it soak just a little bit. Somebody asked me before in the comment, what does that P or the plus stand for? Right here. Seven rounds in the cylinder instead of six. I love how he's like grunting over there happily, like sighing. Like, oh man, best day ever. What a life to be a dog. Um, cause I see, especially when I use like the 38 special rounds, I have more of that like lead buildup, like near the, near the end of the cylinder. And, um, I don't know if that's maybe overkill for me to go through it like this, but I don't know. I like it to be nice. Maybe I'm a little OCD or something. Got this, this cheap old toothbrush I got just for this. Especially in the spots where I know I'm going to have a little bit more issue. On the cylinder, on the part here where the bullet leaves the cylinder. I've had limited success with this little copper brush. But I'm going to put it in the hops and run it through the barrel in some of my trouble areas. Where there's a little bit more buildup than in other places. Get some of that lead out and stuff. There's something really like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not like new age philosophy or anything, but there's something really like zen about cleaning guns. I feel like, you know, after all, any time spent at the range, like, it's relaxing to just like come home and like throw on a TV, put on some like Netflix, because I don't actually watch like <laughs> television, television, I don't have cable. I haven't had cable since I was like 10. Um, so it's not something I miss. But I, I, I watch like Netflix or I'm a huge movie junkie. If anybody, anybody has exchanged comment threads with me, I love quoting movies and whatever. So a lot of times I'll just throw on a movie or whatever and just kind of put my world like into balance by 
focusing on getting my firearm nice and clean. And I'm definitely having some of the lead is sticking to certain places. Well, the lead and carbon, I'm really having a problem getting the carbon off of this part of the frame in here. Like I was saying before, I just like cleaning my guns. I think maybe part of it is, you know, my dad cleaning his guns when I was a kid. I, I like the smell of the gun oil and the the cleaning solution. These are these Letaway guys, they actually smell kind of like coconut, like... Yeah, it's like a coconut, like a fruity kind of smell. So that's actually pleasant, you know, even if you don't have that kind of nostalgia that I do attached to cleaning firearms. Man, that stuff is really on there. It's not coming up hardly at all with this hops. So, so I'm not getting... You can see the comparison. Like, I'm just not getting hardly anything up anymore. So I'm going to try these, the Letaway patches for for my harder to reach or harder to clean spots. I like how these, I don't actually like coconut, like, I'm not a big, I don't know, I'm just, I'm like the only person in my family who doesn't like coconut, but I like how these smell. Let's get some of this. Oh, that's beautiful. See, I just take like two seconds and like, I, what I was just about scraping before is just Lifting right off. That's that's nice. That's what I like. It's very rewarding to see that kind of progress. I'm already bringing out the steel from underneath the carbon. Now I'm gonna take this uh, foots and shake, or shake well as it says in the directions. awesome childproof caps. There we go. A little bit goes a long way for this I, in my experience and I want to just go over the whole gun. I want the frame and I'm gonna hit the cylinder and all of that. Need a little bit more here. I like putting on my finger because that helps me gauge just how much I have to work with. Okay it looks like I've got Everything has a light haze of polish on it. Now I'm going to take this this rag here. This is actually a flitz polishing rag, so it's like microfiber. It's not abrasive, and it's going to be good for polishing. And I'm just going to buff it real gentle to remove the polish. And pretty much right away, I can see it gets nice and shiny.